Hello everyone, welcome to Astronautics for Earth Point. In this video, I will be going over space colonization, reasons for space colonization, challenges of space colonization, and requirements for space colonization. Humanity has long dreamed of establishing itself on other worlds, even before we started going into space. Stephen Hawking said, and I quote, the long-term survival of the human race is at risk as long as it is confined to a single planet. Sooner or later, disasters such as an asteroid collision or nuclear war could wipe us all out. But once we spread out into space and establish independent colonies, our future should be safe. There isn't anywhere like the Earth in the solar system. So we will have to go to another star. Michael Grevy said, and I quote, The goal isn't just scientific exploration. It's also about extending the range of human habitat, heart from heart, into the solar system as we go forward in time. In the long run, a single planet species will not survive. If we humans want to survive, for hundreds of thousands or millions of years, we must ultimately populate other planets. Space colonization is the concept of permanent, autonomous, self-sufficient human habitation of space, that is locations outside Earth. It also refers to our space settlement, space humanization, or space habitation. It is a long time ago of some national space programs to exploit natural resources in space. There are recent commitments to space colonization, and the most recent commitments to researching permanent settlement include those by public space agencies such as NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, ISRO, and the CNSA, and private organizations such as SpaceX, Lockheed Martin, and Boeing. The picture in this slide shows concept of lunar mining facility. The present situation. Up to present, no space colonies have been built. Proposals and designs for space settlement have been put forward. And also, efforts are being made to make space access cheaper through the use of reusable launch systems. The advocate for space colonization put it that the pursuit of such a goal will stimulate cooperation and unify efforts of people of various nationalities, while the critics stated that it is a waste of time and the drain on financial resources, which could be better spent on alleviating problems such as hunger, poverty, and disease. This picture shows a depiction of NASA's plans to grow food on Mars. There are various reasons for space colonization, and some of them are as follows. Human's curiosity and drive to explore and discover new things. Long-time survival of human civilization and species. Available natural resources in space. Spreading of life throughout the universe. Economic value through solar power satellites, asteroid mining, and space manufacturing. Saving and protection of Earth's environment. Provision of entertainment to people. Incrementing human knowledge and technological abilities. Ensuring of sufficient supply of valuable materials, such as natural gas and drinking water, that may soon be in short supply. Notable scientist says are as follows. Michael Griffin stated that to extend the range of human habitat from out into the solar system is the reason for space colonization. While Stephen Hawking stated that to serve as means of saving humanity. Louis J. Hale stated that colonization of space will protect humanity in the event of global nuclear warfare. And Paul Davis stated that if a planetary catastrophe threatens the survival of the human species on Earth, a self-sufficient colony 
who reverse colonize the heart and restore human civilization. Why William Burroughs and Robert Shapiro proposed a private project, the Alliance to Rescue Civilization, with the goal of establishing an off-earth backup of human civilization. There are various challenges of space colonization, and some of them are high technological challenges. There's need for controlled ecological life support systems. Also, hostile space environment to human life, and this is as a result of solar radiation effects. We also have long-term issue of human behavior and survival, and this is attributed to isolation. Also, expensive nature. Sending costs to low heart orbit from hard by Falcon Heavy is estimated to be about $1,400 per kilogram or $640 per pound. Impediment to commercial exploitation of astral resources is the very high cost of initial investment. Requirements for space colonization. Factors necessary for successful space colonization are construction materials, energy, transportation such as space access, cislunar and solar system travel, communications, life support, radiation protection, population size, currency denominations, and psychological effects. Construction materials. Mercury, Mars, Moon, near Earth objects, and asteroids. Space colonies on the Mercury, which is reaching a uh, meta. Mars, Moon, and asteroids can extract local materials. Moon is found to be efficient, deficient in volatiles such as argon, helium, and compounds of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Moon is found to contain a great deal of oxygen, silicon, and metals, such as iron, aluminum, and titanium. It was estimated that the Kabul crystal of the moon contains material with about 1% of water or more. Near Earth objects contain substantial amounts of metals, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. Jupiter's Trojan asteroids are thought to be high in water ice and probably other fallout ice. Recycling of some raw materials will also certainly be necessary. Energy Generally, solar energy is used to power satellites because of its abundance in orbit. And because of no mighty space and no clouds or atmosphere, Sunlight is not blocked. Large structures. Large solar power for the photovoltaic cell arrays or thermal power plants are needed in order to meet the electrical power needs of the space settlers use. Wireless transmission of solar energy. Transmitting solar energy wirelessly from the half to the moon and back is a proposed idea which is proposed for the benefits of space colonization and energy resources. It is also proposed that reflected solar energy onto crops will aid and enable photosynthesis. Nuclear power is proposed for colonies located on the moon or on Mars because the supply of solar energy is too discontinuous in these locations. Energy as an export. Energy is su suggested as an eventual export item for space settlers. Microwave beams can be used to send power to Earth or the Moon. Transportation, that is space access. Space endeavor is limited by the transportation to orbit. And for effective space exploration and colonization, cheap and launch vehicles are required, as well as a way to avoid serious damage to the atmosphere from the large number of launches, launches required. There are a number of proposed projects, such as NASA's air-breathing hypersonic air spacecraft, building of a space elevator or a mass driver, launching of construction materials. Due to high cost of launching materials, 
bulk materials are expected to come from the moon near earth objects such as asteroids and comets with orbits near earth phobos demons where gravitational forces are much less there's no atmosphere and there's no biosphere to damage transportation she's lunar and solar system travel propellant launch from the heart for use in space colonies will be very expensive proposed technologies for reducing cost tete proportion variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket ion drives solar thermal rockets solar cells and nuclear thermal propulsion electronic catapults or lunar space elevators for the launching of bulk materials to waiting settlements communications communication systems are relatively easy to set up for art orbits and settlements on the moon real-time communications to mars is impractical and this is because of significant delays due to the speed of light and the greatly varying distance between conjunction and opposition and lag which occur between 7 and 44 minutes email and voice mail systems can be easily used to communicate with mass because of no need of live interaction life support is another requirement for space colonization in space settlement, a life support system must recycle or import all the nutrients without crashing. The closest terrestrial analog to space life support is nuclear submarine. Close ecological systems, ecosystems that do not rely on material exchange with any part outside the system, is currently being proposed. Types of relationship between organisms their habitat and the non art environment organisms and their habitat fully isolated from the environment such as artificial biosphere biosphere 2 and life support system changing the environment to become a life friendly habitat which is referred to as terraforming and also changing organisms by genetic engineering so as to become more compatible with the environment Another requirement is radiation protection. Cosmic rays and solar flares create a lethal radiation environment in space. In Earth orbit, the Van Allen belts make living above the Earth's atmosphere difficult. To protect life, space sediments must be surrounded by sufficient mass to absorb most incoming radiation, unless magnetic or plasma radiation seeds were developed. Population size is another requirement. Scenario of self-replication, which could be enabled by the space manufacturer, is being proposed. The assumption is that it could lead to a more rapid and exponential increase in colonies, which will eliminate costs and dependence on art. Currency de denominations, the quasi-universal intergalactic denomination or could a physical currency made from a space qualified polymer for interplanetary travelers is currently being proposed quid was designed for the foreign exchange company travelers by scientists from britain's national space center and the university of leicester cryptocurrency is also being proposed for use in space psychological effects the monotony and loneliness that comes from a prolonged space mission can leave astronauts susceptible to cabin fever or having a psychotic break. Another effect is the lack of sleep, fatigue, and work overload, which can affect an astronaut's ability to perform well in space, where every action is very critical. For more information, Contact Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.